The net income for Cypress Inc. was $3 million for the year ended December 31. Additional information is as follows. I'm told the depreciation on fixed assets, $1.5 million. Gain from cash sale of land, $200,000. The increase in accounts payable, $300,000. And dividends paid on preferred stock, $400,000. The question is, the net cash provided by operating activities in the statement of cash flows for the year ended December 31st should be how much? Well, we're doing the indirect method here, and what we're going to have to do is we're going to start with our net income of $3 million, and we're going to make adjustments to that for things that either are cash items that are not included in net income, or items that are included in net income that are not cash items. And so we're going to convert that net income number into something that's essentially a cash flows from operating activities. So we start with our $3 million, and what we need to do is just go through each of these four items and determine, is it something that needs to be added back to net income? Is it something that needs to be taken out of net income? Or is it something that there is no adjustment to net income for? So first, depreciation of, on fixed assets. Well, we know that depreciation is a non-cash item. It's not something we pay each year as a cash outflow. So we know that depreciation expense needs to be added back in to net income in order to calculate our cash flows from operating activities. The second item, the gain from the cash sale of land. Well, the sale of land, that transaction connected to land, isn't an operating activity. It's an investing activity, and so the cash received from the sale of the land should be shown in the investing section as a cash inflow, but this gain from the sale of land is included in our $3 million of income, and it shouldn't be. Okay? It's not a cash inflow from operating activities, and so we need to take out that $200,000 gain from the sale of the land. The third item, the increase in accounts payable. Accounts payable are a liability, and we know that the adjustment is that an increase in a liability is an addition back into net income, and so that's going to be a plus 300000 Without the rule, what we know is that with a payable is that we incurred an expense, so our income went down, but we didn't pay it yet, so the cash hasn't yet gone out. The last item, the dividends paid on preferred stock. Well, we've got a couple of things here. First of all, dividends paid are not an operating activity. Dividends paid are a financing activity. And in addition to that, dividends paid aren't included in net income. They're an adjustment after net income is, take, is calculated. And so it's a financing activity, and that $400,000 isn't included in net income anyway, so there's no adjustment that's made for those $400,000. And so we add all of this together, and what we end up with is our cash flows from operating activities is $4,600,000, which is choice C. This is just a good standard operating activities uh, question, and you need to keep in mind that you don't always make an adjustment for every number that they include in the question. This dividends on preferred stock, no adjustment is made for that. So make certain you identify information in the question that you're not, in a sense, using to answer the question.